Um, hello. Welcome to video game. So, I've never... Never played this before, but... I've watched, like... Two videos on it from the same guy. He didn't do everything or that much, to be honest, so... I haven't seen too much of this. But... This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. An and although job. others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Doesn't sound like the most entertaining job. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No. no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. I'm gonna cut but as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay. I entered the door on my left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. You're no not... reason to still be here. You don't see the possibility. There's a pipe wrench. Do not see the possibility. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Uh, are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. It's like the pipe wrench. Listen, it's because of the pipe wrench. I don't. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. 
just shut the door so we can examine my pipe branch. It's Maybe to you, here. this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. What? He really hates me for being in here. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. What? You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony I'm and insightful commentary man. of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I'm my own narrator. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> so... <laughs> what about... Oh, no, he thought it was bad, really. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, why is it downstairs, Brad? Downstairs looks redder. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, 
This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Damn, I'm still here. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. That's I am right. real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. No, it went red and then black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked wow. to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am, I am sane. Normal. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. What? But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the you're gonna, you're gonna call anybody? and then she turned and ran why would you run away by corpse why would you call somebody why am i a corpse anyway <laughs> How does it work? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley yes. came to a set of two yeah. open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, sure. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I think I'll stay, stay here for a few more seconds, just for the fun of it. Order a drink from the vending machine. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really what worth paintings? it. Oh, there. Yes, these are nice paintings. Why is, why is this here? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow. 
Really? Just because I like this room? It's not weird having a favorite room. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> oh no. How did I get up here? I bought the chair now. Alright, fine. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and amazing. took the first open door on his left to get back to business. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. What about this elevator, though? There's a big red button. What do you want me to do? Hit that big red button. How could I resist? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get dude. back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. Thanks, oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Thanks, man. No, 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 Thanks, no, not man. the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly, oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, When did we go down? Right. Yep, yep. Go? okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Thanks, man. Let me in. Let me in. All right. Uh. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Uh -oh. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Uh -oh. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's spoiled. all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hopefully I don't get spoiled on the ending now. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? The no, doors aren't open. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Well, what did something did. change? Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... No, Hold I on. Why well, am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Why I'll say it, so this is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Whoever built do this we just, place needs to be tired. Do we need to restart the game again? Oh, man, well, boss. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, what? let's give it a shot. Why not? Thanks, man. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Great, now the, do now the door is gone. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Man, I really, I really, I really this one up, did I? Where's the story? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. Okay, the story. Talking. Here it comes. Thanks, no, man. wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Are you just... <clears throat> are you just, like, trolling me at this point? 
I think you're trolling me. This is not, this is not where I came from. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I don't think I'm I can't to be quite here. recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Yes. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Oh, Congratulations! Yeah. I, I know win. you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, door. Okay. Oh, no. No, I don't I feel right about this at all. We yeah. both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I Some people did. win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Oh my gosh. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? All right, man. I'll trust the line of Destiny. We never went in here before. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Good Onward, job. Stanley, to Destiny. All the right. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. You're giving me a headache, back man. There? Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yes, Cut the music, no. go back, and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Dialogue if it's so there a bit longer. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. What did you do, no, man? No. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh my gosh, we're here again. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? But after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Oh my gosh, again. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're yeah, intelligent man, people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? <laughs> Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Perfect. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? Narrator that's really died. how all this goes? Oh, it's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. Wall. The powerful wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Then what am I supposed to do? And the timer stopped? Oh. Does that mean... Um, did we do it? 
Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I do not know, man, but I have a chair, apparently. So, okay. No other well, path. in the meantime, if you... Now I... Did it reset again? Oh, no. There it is. All of his co-workers were gone. No. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It was... Did he... Did he restart or did he get forcibly reset? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left of his office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to him before he even tells me what to do now. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. I just don't know the code, man. I am a bit confused. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all <laughs> by itself. And Stanley me. got the hell along with the story. Well, what did he do? I'm so angry. I'm sorry, man. I'll do what he wants. The lights rose on an enormous right, room it's, packed it's with television room. screens. I've what horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Ending. It's such a shame. If only I could read. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Who was monitoring us? The question. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had How Stanley really be? been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his Probably. emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own Fire. life in someone else's control? Never! It was yeah. unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I mean, but I can tell I very much. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Control's label. Eh. Oh. I did it. I saved the office workers. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. 
Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Wow. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. No, I don't. I'm leaving. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Am I really happy though? Not really. I beat the game though. That's the achievement I got. Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, he's talking over me. No I don't matter like how it. hard Stanley Shut worked, up. he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Dating. I love dating children on Roblox. Oh. Here we are. <laughs> I'm recording, man. Are you recording? Uh, are you recording? I guess what are you I'll, doing? We'll have to play this game later. Sorry, guys. Children on Roblox. Oh. You should add that. You should. You should literally add that. 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 <laughs> that you're recording. Add that. Add that. Add that to your video. Add that to your video. That'd be so funny. 